A large portion of teachers are in the vaccination process. Oregon's second largest school district is preparing to open up its doors next month. Elise Haas joins us live this morning to explain more about this. And Elise, what have you found out about the latest timeline for reopening Salem-Kaiser Public Schools? Ken, the goal is obviously March, and that's something that I know a lot of parents and students are looking forward to. And according to one of the meetings with the district leaders recently for Salem-Kaiser Public Schools, it sounded like the vaccinations with the teachers were going very smoothly, which keeps them on track for that March 1 reopening date. But first things first, it is elementary students who are going to be prioritized, and it's their goal to have the youngest students coming back at the beginning of March for that blended learning model, also known as a hybrid model. That's for partly at home and then partly online for kindergartners and first graders. Then they will add elementary grade levels incrementally throughout that month. And then by March 15th, they will hope to have K through fifth grade on that blended model. It looks a little differently for the older students, for middle and high schoolers. Salem Kaiser plans to expand in person supports for certain high school seniors, students with disabilities and struggling students. Their goal is to also expand extracurricular activities in that third quarter as well. And then by the fourth quarter, they are hoping to start hybrid learning for their older students. Now, out of the four key components that allow schools to reopen, the biggest change that Salem Kaiser noted is the COVID metrics for reopening are now advisory. Previously, it was mandatory to meet these metrics, but this now change allows local districts to decide what is best for them. Still, schools must have school based safety teams tasked with ensuring and enforcing COVID protocols. They are required to have on site rapid COVID-19 testing in place and districts must also offer a comprehensive distance learning options for certain families. And I checked in with officials to find out when is the latest update going to be coming in regards to reopening. And in fact, they were going to be releasing new videos later this afternoon about the reentry process and what hybrid learning is going to look like. So we'll continue to update you there as well at coin.com. Reporting live, Elise Sauce, Coin 6 News. All right, thank you, Elise. Well, Oregon will start vaccinating.